Hi everyone and welcome back and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about what is polyrepo repo and what is monorepo and when should we use uh, and what are the advantages of using monorepo. I won't suggest you should be using polyrepo now because it's a monorepo world and we should start using uh, monorepo. This video is focusing on why should I use a monorepo. And uh, I read this popular quotes today because I follow this particular strategy. First do it. Okay. If you want to build a clone or any full stack application in separate, separate repository, you do it. Then try to make it right and then try to make it a little better. So you might be using uh, these poly repos earlier where you are actually building your code in different, different uh, repositories they have their own ci cd setup on deployment structures on on deployment mechanism but now once you build it you should always see whatever the application you are building whatever the api you are building or whatever the work you are doing you should always think of how you can make it little better so there is always a scope of making things better right you can Put the reusable code in some kind of a library you can use the monorepos for your full stack projects uh, or you can optimize your ci cd you can optimize your queries you can uh, use proper standards for your api guidelines so there is always a scope of making things better right so this particular video is all about how you can make your full stack applications better the first most important aspect is you should start using monorepo. I'm not saying you should use NX, Lana, uh, NX. Um, uh, I think uh, there are other monorepos uh, available like Microsoft also provides and Google also has a Bazel. Bazel is also a, like a monorepo solution. Like uh, there is a trend of using it, but why should I use it? Is it really helpful for me? That's what we are trying to understand. Let's say I'm building a full stack application which has a multiple backend microservices, front end, Next.js app, Svelte Kit app, or maybe a, a admin dashboard written in React client. So I should be having like, okay, across 10 to 12 repositories for managing all these things. Now think about how can we manage that in a single um, monorepo, having different projects as a different projects inside a workspace, right? So because even if you have uh, multiple teams, there is always a pros and cons of using polyrepo uh, and monorepo. When you are using monorepo, obviously you have to manage the collaboration because all the 20 or 30 member PA people will be using a single repository to work on to that, right? You need to manage uh, how you are building the artifacts and deploying it because there is a front end app, CSR, uh, SSR and uh, APIs, maybe Lambda all those things so here why why not polyrepo right because uh, every team is is in their world in their world they are building their own stuff yes obviously there is a decoupled uh, deployment and development but when you have to follow the unique uh, standard then it's really important to standardize a single process which, which everybody can follow and it's not like uh, we are putting a lot of duplicates because here, when you are using poly, poly repo, you end up doing code duplication. Uh, uh, you actually use individual library in library in individual repository. There is no re uh, code uh, reusability. Even you end up doing code duplication in consistent tooling, the standards tooling, linting, all these tooling setup, which we do currently in all the projects. Some are API projects, some are CSR, some are SSR but we should have a com common standard global configurations that is cumbersome because everybody uses their own, right? That can be solved by using polyrepo, sorry, monorepo. Monorepo like uh, all the big enterprises uses uh, monorepo setup. Even you can see a monorepo being used by th thousands. Here you can manage the, there can be library repository where you are all the global, global uh, libraries of even the organization is shared there, right? They keep publishing the different versions and you can keep using them. So monorepo is something like that where you can have a workspace and you can put all your applications and libraries there. Applications can use the libraries there. A monorepo is a single repository containing a multiple distinct project with a well-defined relationships. Even they can have a 
well defined relationships uh, of library because i'm using nest js app that might be using some library or swelled kit or next js app that might be using some common reusable functions or reusable package that is easily maintained it's open source build system build system is uh, available you are using a common standard uh, build process and you know if you are breaking something then it is going to break everything right so your build process an artifact creation process should be full proof so there is no leakage or no any kind of uh, code is being deployed which is not healthy right you will be able to maintain code quality and you can use a larna nx and all i have used all my projects there is an nx workspace uh nx uh, you can use nx plugins on vs code and you can uh, do all those things i have totally separate playlist which talks about nx nx mono repo setup and how it really helps you nx plugin on vs code how you can create a different kind of mono repo i think there are integrated and uh, the shared mono repo setup right those things uh, we can set up using nx or you can also use a larna and then because this is if you are talking about pros and cons then there are both the things if you are totally new to the mono repo things then you have to understand how it really works because there is a single repository and you will be your whole team will be maintaining it you will be enforced with the common guidelines and common standards uh, of writing code and then obviously you are your deployment structure will be a single then you have to use a chain set like okay i want to deploy only these these packages not the whole application then you will be using chain sets and all those things okay so this this uh, video is just only talking about uh, what is mono repo and how it can be helpful polyrepo polyrepo is really a thing of past now we don't create 10 different repositories to just uh, build us one single app because now full stack means all javascript and all javascript can be bundled into a single repository with the different applications with the reusable libraries and there are many solutions available for it okay